Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday. I told you there'd be another day. I predict the same thing for tomorrow, just so you know. I uh, just wanted to drop in on you and uh, check on people and tell you that you've been prayed for today and going to keep doing that on these days. I love to walk through our church directory and pull out names and pray for individual families. And so I'm doing lots of that. I encourage you to do the same thing. We need to be lifting each other up, caring for each other right now. So that would be a really good thing to do. But I want to share a word from the scripture to you as well. I can give you all of my thoughts and opinions, but that's really all they are. It's my thoughts and opinions. And they don't mean all that much. I'm not a doctor and I'm not a scientist. I am just a pastor. Um, but I know what God says. And uh, I actually pulled this book off my shelf this morning. This is one of my old high school uh, Bibles. And uh, that means it's really, really old. Um, but uh, I decided that I needed to keep in touch with the past in some ways in my own life. So you might want to do that. It's a good time to sit down and watch some old videos, home videos, and go through old pictures and look through your old books and your old Bibles and see the things, that, the scriptures that meant something to you back in the days gone by and and uh, to just kind of review all that in your head. So I went out yesterday after I left the office and uh, I figured a safe place to go is the park. There's not a whole lot of people there right now and I like to walk. I'm trying to walk four miles a day, which makes my doctor very happy and makes my feet very tired, but that's okay. So I was out walking and as I was walking, I decided I needed to be praying for the people that were out on the path, and there weren't many. Um, I was kind of walking this one direction on a circular path that was a half a mile long, and a lot of people, several people, not a lot, were walking the opposite direction. And I decided that um, as I got to them, I'd step off to the side so I didn't approach them too closely, but that I would ask them, uh, is there any way I can pray for you today? Um, I wanted to make it a little safer. And I said, I'm a pastor of a local church. Is there any way I can pray for you? I know things are crazy right now. So I did that. And um, the first couple people that I asked uh, just smiled and were very, very glad to share with me their prayer requests and what was going on in their families. And I assured them that I'd pray for them. And I did throughout that, the rest of that walk. Um, one guy uh, was a large gentleman in a football player kind of large, um, not as an eating crazily kind of large. He didn't even meet my gaze. He, he walked deliberately right past me, said nothing, and um, just kept walking. That's the first time in my life somebody that big has been afraid of me. Felt kind of good, to be honest with you. Uh, and the next couple that I met was uh, a mom that was probably about my age, and what I assume was her daughter, um, probably in her 30s. And they were out walking their two dogs. And the mom had a little dog. The daughter had a big dog. And the mom smiled and nodded. And the younger daughter got up equal next to me and basically sicked her dog on me. Um, she had him on a lead, so she held him back. But she let the dog know that I wasn't a friend. Um, okay, you know, I guess we all deal with this in our own way, don't we? Uh, I prayed for them anyway, and I'm going to continue to do so. But all of that drove me back to the Word, because this is where I'm finding my peace throughout this uh, worldwide crisis. And uh, going back to my old Bible this morning, in its own unique, particular, peculiar version, in Hebrews Chapter 1, verse 3, I love what this says. Listen to it. God's Son shines out with God's glory, and all that God's Son is and does marks him as God. He regulates the universe by the mighty power of his command. Did you hear that? He regulates the universe by the mighty power of his command. God's word assures me that none of this has slipped by him. The angels did not go to God a couple of weeks ago and say, oh Lord, you've got to do something. 
there's a crisis on earth. There's a virus and people are getting sick. That didn't happen. God knew. God allowed this. Did he send it? I don't know. I really don't. He at least allowed it. Maybe he sent it. Maybe he's trying to say something to us. I really think he is. I think he's trying to say you need to stop trusting in the stock market. You need to stop trusting in your own brilliance. You need to stop trusting your bank account because I can take all of those things away from you in a heartbeat. And the only thing you're gonna to have to trust in is me. Just two weeks ago, our economy was just bursting at the seams. Everybody was hiring. Things were going great, we had a bull market. And all of that is now reversed. And they're saying, it's not at all impossible that we could have 20% unemployment if people don't take seriously the regulations that the government is asking us to observe. God is showing us clearly there's only one thing we can count on, only one person we can count on. Who is that? God's Son shines out with God's glory, and all that God's Son is and does marks him as God. He regulates the universe by the mighty power of his command. That's good stuff, my friend. I hope you'll lean into it today. I hope you'll trust him. Getting ready in a few minutes, we're going to go out and feed a whole bunch of kids that may not have lunch otherwise. And uh, we're going to take them lunch and breakfast for tomorrow. Pray for them. Pray for those families that don't have enough. Do whatever you can to help meet their need. Don't hoard anything. God has put us here to meet needs. God will provide for us. He'll take care of us. And we have to provide for others and for each other. So let's reach out. Let's love well. And let's remember that it's our God who regulates the universe, not chance and not a virus. I love you guys. I'm praying for you today. Do what God wants you to do. Do right, and everything's going to be all right. See you tomorrow.